Welcome friends. Now we shall learn some important results on Cartesian product of sets and this is the first theorem. The statement of this theorem is as follows. For any three sets A, B and C, prove that A cross B union C is equal to A cross B union A cross C and in second part of the theorem a cross B intersection C is equals to A cross B intersection A cross C. We have to prove these two results. So let us see how to do it. First of all, we shall write the first result to be proved and it is A cross B union C is equals to A cross B union A cross C. Now we let x, y be an arbitrary element of A cross B union C. Then this element x and y must belong to A cross B union C. And this implies that this x will belongs to set A and this y will belong to B union C. And it is by definition of Cartesian product of sets. And this implies that x belongs to A and y belongs to b or b belongs to c and this is because of by definition of union and this implies that x belongs to a and y belongs to b or x belongs to a and y belongs to c this implies that this element x and x y belongs to A cross B or this element x and y belongs to A cross C. And this implies that x y belongs to A cross B. union A cross C and therefore A cross B union C its subset of A cross B union A cross C. We let that this is the equation number one and now we shall let that an element a b b an arbitrary element of a cross b union a cross c therefore a b belongs to a cross b union a cross C and this implies that this element A B belongs to A cross B or A B belongs to A cross C and this implies that A belongs to A and B belongs to B or A belongs to A and B belongs to C and this implies that A belongs to A and B belongs to B or B belongs to C. This means A belongs to A and B belongs to B union C. This means A B belongs to a cross B union C and this means A cross B union 
a cross c is subset of a cross b union c. Let we let this is the equation number two, and now from equation one and equation number two we get a cross b union c is equal to a cross b union a cross c. So hence the first part is proved, and now we shall prove the second part in another video. Thank you.